Hey, hello Gum here. Today I want to talk about this. First of all, sorry for the delayed comeback. Meanwhile, a lot of things happened, but I might talk about this sometime along the road later. I just wanted to say thanks to my handful of loyal fans who keep watching my great videos, which are oozing full of love and dedicated state-of-the-art direction and effects. Bear in mind that all I know so far about this topic is told to me by Swedes, so as usual I have no further investigated about this issue, so I bring you unfiltered, fresh and stylish videos about my opinion and about my impression. Hemma quell. What does it mean? Hem means home, quell means evening. A cute sounding name for everyone who's not Swedish. The colorful letters just tell us how sweet it must be inside. As far as I know, this used to be a video rental service shop or something, which sort of derivates from the name Hemmerquell, so something for the evening at home. But they changed their shop and their direction and concentrated only on sweets. Funny thing is, when I came to Sweden, I saw so many sweet corners or candy stores and as well as Hemmerquell. And I was a little bit baffled because I thought, wow, there are so many of these candy stores, but I don't see any fat people or people with like bad teeth or something. So I was wondering, what is this all about? So I asked a few Swedish friends of mine and they told me it used to be like a typical Swedish thing to get all these goodies while renting a movie and it was sort of a like typical Friday evening or Saturday evening thing. But of course this has changed over the years. Even if you go to supermarkets such as Willis or Ica or even Lidl, which is a German chain, you will always see a candy store corner or at least some sort of like self-service um, place where you can get all these sweets. So it is sort of ingrained in the Swedish culture to fill yourself up with candies, despite the fact that, well, sweets are not healthy, but sweets... Ha 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 ha, are still keeping up with their teeth. So they are actually taking care of having good teeth and still are able to enjoy sweets. I almost forgot to mention this. In Sweden, there's also a sweet called Kix. It's a chocolate bar. And funny thing is, if you are translating that to German, uh, basically that means also cookie, Kix but in a plural form, but if you are going to clubs, cakes means mixing ketamine with cocaine. So what do I want to tell you with this video? First, Sweden loves candies and they love being at home in the evening because they even have a chain about this. Second, having good teas, taking care of their teas, as well as eating tons of candies. Third, even though it was sort of a Swedish thing, Lidl a German brand operating in Sweden has adopted this for making Swedes happy. Fourth, well, it made me wonder whenever I saw these self-serving things, because in Germany we usually get packaged sweets in the supermarkets and shops. Anyways, thanks for watching and listening to my latest video. I hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned.